Let me get some snacks, and then we'll jump into the very first match. Mm -mm -mm. So, I was interested. You know, we want to watch some matches before we get into the top eight of this tournament. And this, this Daigo versus NL set is three minutes and 50 seconds. Now, I don't know what in Tarnation could have happened that this match is three minutes and 50 seconds long. All right, let's watch this match. All right, I need some juice. You know, the thing about the way Daigo plays Guile versus Akuma. Oh, no, he tried crossing fears and lost. You know about the way Daigo plays Guile versus <laughs> Uh, Akuma is like, I feel like he he plays a lot more walk up, use buttons kind of style against this character. Wow. And uh, I think that that style is a good style if you're ready and you're like super on point, but it's also very risky. You know? Uppercut? Oh, shit. He doesn't sit still. Yeah, nice punish. He doesn't sit still and throw a lot of booms traditionally. He usually tries to walk up and use Gaal's mid range normals, which are some of the stronger mid-range normals in the game when packed behind a Sonic Boom. Like, when you have that threat as well as the buttons, it's very good. Damn, he tried double back fist, and then he tried something else after and got counter hit. The only time he really sits still is when he wants to flash kick. That's usually the main time. Yeah, one thing about Daigo is I feel like a lot of the times when he lands uh, EX Boom, he does dash up back throw. Because he wants corner positioning. Most of the time, Gaal's backing up and losing corner space. So one thing you see about him a lot is land EX boom, dash, dash, throw. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah, spacing on this was really, really good. The range he threw this fireball was pretty tough. I think he was about the spacing where flash kick was a little questionable whether it would hit or not. Fireball, walk back. Fireball, this range is pretty per... This is like the perfect spacing, I think, for this. Also, cause especially because a counter hit push Daigo back. Boom, boom. Critical R confirmed. Noise. That was good shit. Damn, this match is a fucking beatdown, huh? It's literally... Yeah, it's just literally clean up for NL. Nice delay. Damn, that was a crazy wiggle. Wow, can you believe that shit? That was messed up. He flexed. I can't believe the V skill did not pun. And V skill and a medium kick did not punish that uh, heavy kick from Guile. That's bad. Dude, twice in a row he's done wake-up jump. I wonder if he's trying to look for upside-down kick. You gotta watch the red fireball cancel. Wow. Damn, he was... That sucks. Daigo tried to walk up here after the whiff in the back throw. <laughs> look at his face. And then he hits down jab here. Immediate throw tech from NL. Beats Daigo's throw. Yeah, you're dead. That's bad. That's like the worst case scenario, right? Bro, that guile face is good shit. <laughs> yeah, set point just like that. Nice. Man, it just feels like every single thing Daigo's done has been like just misplaced. It's like perfectly misplaced. It's It feels like it's like, damn, you were so close. That was a good cancel actually to get through. Just like it's good. Of Rudy's damn me with the Twitch Prime. Thanks very much. I appreciate you. Damn. Oh, it didn't land on the on the uh, boom. You can actually do EX flash kick and land on Sonic Boom if it's uh like perfectly timed. It sucks when you gatekeep a good player but don't make top eight. Yeah. That is like common, I feel like. You win a big match and you feel all psyched about it, and then like the next guy you run into just smokes you. You're like, well Uppercut? <gasps> wow. That was an accident, I think. I think you tried like back fierce late or something. Damn, raw fireball? That was a cleanup. It was a bit of a weird match. I feel like a lot of that match was Daigo just being a little outside, just like it's a little outside. D biddly bops. Twitch Prime, thanks very much. Yeah, that was weird. There was a lot of weird drops and kind of slop in that match from both players, but like it felt like everything went perfectly fine for NL and perfectly horrible for Daigo. It happens though. 
I mean, it's not that surprising. NL is a great player. It feels like that. Well, so Daigo's style in that in that matchup, I feel like, can get you killed, or it can work out okay.